All right. Uh, next question from Alucard Vidracool. He says, do you like to drive? I actually enjoy driving, but I hate stupid people on the road going too slow or driving with their high beams on at night. Uh, what do you do to calm your nerves when you see awful drivers on the road? Also, what cars have you driven over the years? My first was a Mazda 626 piece of trash. Broke down so often I just stopped driving it, and now I drive an Infiniti G35X. An amazing car, no issues. I want to know your experiences with cars and driving. Um, well, let's see. First of all, driving to me is a means to an end. I'm not one of these car aficionados where I love my car and I fucking want to enhance my car. I want to constantly be racing and driving. There's a group of people like that. I'm certainly the complete polar opposite. For me, if I'm driving, it's because I'm going somewhere and I want to get somewhere. It's not the quality. It's not, oh, I'm having so much fun in this car driving. Now, that being said, it doesn't mean that you can't have a good time driving. If it's a hot summer day and you got the window open and the wind's blowing in the window or whatever, you know, then it's cool. You know, it's a, it's, it's a cool thing to be able to do. Um, I used to drive a ton, all right? When I was young, I would drive everywhere, and I was the person who would car or drive the carpool to, to fighting game tournaments. I would drive to from Connecticut to New York, New Jersey, uh, <clears throat> Massachusetts, Rhode Island. But then I, one time I drove down to freaking like Virginia and shit. I drove so far. Now, I was the guy. I was the driver whenever we went out of state to go to a Street Fighter tournament, all right? Um... I didn't necessarily enjoy it, but it was fun driving with friends because then you could talk and joke around. And yeah, of course you have to pay attention to the drive, but when you're on a long-ass highway drive where there's not a lot of cars on the road and you're just kind of getting from point A to point B, having friends in the car is part of the experience of having fun, right? <clears throat> but um, what cars have I had? Well, I started out with um, a Ford Escort in the 19, late 1990s. That got wrecked. Then I ended up driving my parents' Ford Taurus for a while, 1992 Ford Taurus, um, for a long time, actually. It was like two, three years I drove that through college. And then eventually I, I raised enough money to, to get a Pontiac Grand Am, and I had that from when I graduated college. That would have been 2004, um, all the way through to when I got that BMW. So when was that? Let me think about that. That was 2012. So I owned that Pontiac Grand Am for a good eight years, and that was the car that I drove everywhere on trips and everything. And by the time I was done with that car, it, I'm not exaggerating, smoke was coming out of it. It was leaking oil and fluids all over, and the window had sunken into the door and wouldn't come out. The car had, everything was falling apart. The car was about to, like, explode when I got the BMW. <laughs> um... The other, oh, okay, the other question that he asked, what do you do to calm your nerves when you see awful drivers on the road? I mean, there's not much that you can do, folks. There's actually not much that you can actually do about bad drivers on the road. You just can't. Um, when They're, they're going to be everywhere, right? Bad drivers are everywhere. They will be everywhere. There's nothing you can do about them. Uh, they're incredibly annoying. But basically what they are, they're people who think that they're more important than everyone else around them. These people think, honestly... That, like, they're number one, and therefore they're more important. They're going to disregard all the rules of the road. They're going to disregard anything possible, right? In order to basically do get from point A to point B. They'll drive unsafe. They'll have their fucking phones. They'll be texting as they drive like this. They're nuts. Some of them, I have to think, are just not self-aware. Like, they don't realize that every time you get behind the wheel of a car that you're basically driving a deadly weapon that could either kill you or kill the people around you. I don't understand that kind of person. To me, that's nuts. That that kind of person even fucking exists, quite honestly. All right, but they do. That kind of person does fucking exist. Absolutely, they're they're. It's crazy. It really is crazy that that kind of person exists. Um, what do you do to calm yourself? I mean, there's not much you can do to calm yourself. You just got to stay composed. You have to understand that when you're driving, it's part kind of getting from point A to point B, but it's also uh being defensive for yourself, being sure that all the assholes around you aren't just running you off the road or whatever. Okay, <clears throat> so I know it sucks. It absolutely does suck. Um, you know, when you're driving and you got assholes around you that aren't being responsible and are basically just, you know, I swear, how could you be self-aware if you're, when you're driving, you're actively taking the risk of risking your life and everyone else's life around you so you can fucking do the text on the phone while you're driving, you know. I've, I see people eating 
fucking giant sandwiches. They're eating like a fucking Subway as they're driving with one hand like this. There's fucking lettuce and cheese and shit flying off the sandwich. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. They're drinking a hot coffee. Fucking spills all over them. They drive. Like, I don't understand these fucking people. For me, when I'm driving, I mean, yes, you can, have, you can talk to your friends. You got music playing. But you got to focus on what you're doing. And I, I hear you, man. I 100% hear you because I've totally uh, experienced exactly what you're saying. I don't understand these fucking people. They're nothing like me. That's for sure. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>